everybody, it's me, Nemaisa, and I'm back with another Halloween tutorial. For this video, I decided to do a Samara of the movie The Ring inspired makeup look. Instead of using many different types of alcohol activated makeup palettes and, and base colors and whatnot, I decided to stick to a couple of products. I really did my best. I mean, okay, except for the airbrush, I do use an airbrush in this tutorial, but I also give you an alternative. So, you know, stay tuned for the video. I've never done a look inspired by Samara, so I thought this Halloween, I'm gonna go for it. So no crazy prosthetics, no hours of, you know, detailed painting. I tried to keep it to a minimum, so, that you understand what I'm doing and that it's relatively easy to recreate. So if you want to know how I did this look, then you know what you gotta do. To start the look off, I already covered my brows using the glue stick method. Of course, I have a separate video for that listed somewhere here in the screen, so you can click on it if you want to know how I do that. After that, I'm taking the Krylon TV Paint Stick in the shade G165, so I'm applying the product upwards because I don't want to disrupt the covered brow base. And then I'm also going to apply that all over my face. And then with a very dense foundation brush, I'm going to buff that into my skin. Once I've done that, I'm taking the Krylon TV Paint Stick in the shade 00, and I'm applying that on my covered brow and underneath my eyes and above my jawbone. I'm also going to buff that in with the rest of the foundation. For this look, I decided to go with a very jaundice and let's say kind of ghost appearance. Then to set the foundation, I'm taking the NYX SFX setting powder and I'm pretty much applying that all over my face. And I'm letting that set for about 5 minutes and then I wipe off the excess with a large powder brush. Now I'm taking the Krylon Bruise Wheel and I'm taking that kind of purple slash pink shade. And with this product, I'm going to pretty much emphasize all the lines in my face and also kind of contour you know, my temples to make them a little bit more hollow. I'm basically going off of some of the pictures I've seen from behind the scenes footage and also kind of making up my own makeup look. Then to create some texture on the skin, I'm using this shade of my custom European Body Art palette. It's an alcohol activated makeup palette, so you're gonna need 99% isopropyl alcohol to activate these colors. And I'm just using a speckling or spattering brush by Delium Tools, and I'm spattering that all over my face. And then to create some more dimension in my face, I'm now using a matte black eyeshadow by Melt Cosmetics. It's the Dark Matter eyeshadow. And I'm just going over those lines I created with that cream color first. I'm not completely covering it up. I'm just kind of blending it together and, you know, emphasizing some of the, the lines in my face a little bit more. It's all about going back and forth with your colors. It's kind of like blending eyeshadows. And obviously, just take your time with this, you know, either look at your reference photo or just like me, kind of create your own version of Samara. Then for the veins, I decided to use my airbrush, but by any means, you can also use your regular old thin liner brush and some paints and create veins, but I personally like to use an airbrush for this because it just looks better, in my opinion. But I mixed a little bit of a purple shade of the Tim Gore Bloodline uh, paints, and I also added a little bit of blue and I diluted it as well. Tim Gore also sells a product which allows you to dilute the paints a little bit. And I'm just going to airbrush some veins on my forehead, on my cheekbones, and on my jawline, and in my neck. Veins should always be kind of squiggly, the other one should be longer than the other. Veins should never look like straight little sticks. And now I'm mixing these two shades of my custom European Body Art palette and I'm going to apply this mixture over the veins I created just to break up the paint a little bit and to create some more texture in the veins. Again, there's no rhyme or reason to this. So yeah, again, controlled chaos is the best way I can describe this. I'm also applying that same mixture onto my lip to create a nasty mouth. And unfortunately, I did not film this process, but I used this shade right here of that same European Body Art custom palette that I have. 
and I very lightly applied that in a padding motion kind of the same way I did with um, you know the veins afterwards and then all over my skin very lightly a very light wash of it kind of make it look like all these tones and these veins are laying underneath the skin so I tried to make myself look a little bit more translucent if the, if you understand what I mean and that was it for the entire tutorial I really hope you enjoyed it again yeah I thought that if I did a look inspired by you know Samara or Sadako from the ring Ringu, <laughs> that some of you may be actually able to recreate it now obviously a lot of you won't have an airbrush at hand i do understand that but you can also create veins with your brush and of course you can also substitute the alcohol activated makeup colors with you know um face paint or grease paint diluted with a 99 percent isopropanol alcohol it's not going to turn out the same obviously but it is an alternative and maybe a more affordable alternative to the products that i've used now for what i'm wearing <laughs> yeah i'm sorry i didn't paint my hands but anyway for what i'm wearing this is literally one of my pjs as you all know when I paint or during my makeup process, I always wear, you know, my grandma PJs. And luckily for this tutorial, <laughs> it worked. I do, however, want to say that if you're going for the real, you know, Samara effect, like the ring effect, I would say dirty these up. Make them look old and raggedy. That's what I'm trying to say. And I often use food coloring. It's not going to stay as well as, for example, you know, clothing dyes. You can use those as well. Those are permanent. So, yeah, I do recommend doing that. But since I actually <laughs> use these, I was not going to do that. These are already plenty dirty enough <laughs> because I use them for painting. Now, for the hair, obviously, I have not done anything to it. I just washed it, dried it. And that's what you see right here. And if you want to create that wet effect, I suggest use a leave-in conditioner and put lots of it in the hair because it's going to make it look wet or greasy and it's going to hold up for the entire evening. Now for the contacts, these are very, very light blue contact lenses, just regular contact lenses actually. But um, I would prefer to actually use sclera lenses. I have a pair. They are by Chuck Silva. They are more costly, that's for sure. But that's because they are hand painted and hand made. So they are custom made to your eyes. Totally give that effect that you see in the movie. On the downside, it doesn't allow for you to fully see through it. You know, it gives you very blurry vision. So for a night out, I suggest using contacts like these. If you want to follow me on my social media pages, then just type in Makeup by Namisa on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you all so, so much, and until the next video, bye!